Hey, welcome back to Solization 6 as Japan. So, few things to talk about before we continue. We did unlock St. Basil's Cathedral now, so I would definitely like to build it. Preferably in our capital, because that will give me plus one food, plus one production and plus one culture on all Tanja tiles, including these natural wonder tiles. And that's one of the few ways I got to make these natural wonder tiles better. So what I'm going to do is build it right here on this hill and then chop the forest. Both of these tiles are hills, meaning I can chop the forest and then build mines. So that's exactly what we'll do. The crossbowman can wait, he's not really that important. I'll keep him in the queue, but he can wait. And I guess I'll send the builder back to remove the forest. Other than that, I need to spread my religion a little bit more. <laughs> I've been focusing on monumentality and I kind of forgot to spread my religion more. So let's grab two missionaries right away and we'll spread our religion to Akayama, Takamatsu, Sendai and then any other cities. And Tokyo because I'm building holy sites in all these cities and I will not be getting the bonus without my religion in there. <laughs> so I will literally be missing out on 20 production in Okayama if I don't spread my religion there. And also we are at war with Rautaro now, but this choke point should be pretty easy to defend. I'm not really worried about it. I might actually get an encampment here. Let's see if we can sell anything. I could probably sell some niter because I'm capped on niter at the moment. Yeah, she will buy. 17 niter for 200 gold. Good enough. And I'm just going to buy these two tiles before Lautaro gets them. In fact, I could buy this one. That's not a bad idea. It's a little bit expensive and I don't have the time to wait for land surveyors but I think it's worth picking it up yeah let's pick it up and I'll probably get the cattle as well our income is getting better and it will get even better in the near future because I've been working on it and I think that's it as far as important things go I'm not sure if I will be starting more cities, need to think about that. There are a few more good locations, especially on this island. This is a good spot, this is still a good spot, even this is a good spot. I could colonize this entire island. But we'll see, I don't want to go overboard with city spam, but there are definitely a few more spots that would be good. Uh, now, since we are at war with Lautaro, I'm going to wait for the warrior to escort my builder. You know, just in case. I wouldn't want him capturing my builder. Uh, we can also build a plus four industrial zone right here. I've been saving this spot for the industrial zone. And it looks like Hungary's city will actually flip. If it does, I will attack it. Preferably from the northwest so that we could stay out of range of this district. But we'll see about that. It would be nice to unlock a few better units before that happens. But we shall see. And since I have a limited amount of faith right now and a lot of things to spend it on, I'll just hard build the Gurdwara instead of spending faith on it. I would normally buy it for faith, but we need faith for a lot of things right now including buildings from Valletta, you know. So yeah, f for the same reason, let's just build a monument that won't take long. Same thing here. I'll just build that monument. It's only three turns. And let's wait for the warrior. Now one guy will go south and one guy will go north. Okay then, so let's go chop that forest. We should be able to get St. Basil's Cathedral but we'll see. It's usually not a wonder the AI rushes to build too quickly. 
Although I've seen them build it a few times. It looks like we'll get the hill. Uh, let's wait for that and then get the mine. Gordian definitely needs more production. It's also about to finish the encampment. That will be useful. I don't need so many encampments, at least like two or three of them. Yeah, AIs are sending demands. I could see more of them declaring war on me. We need to be careful about this. But that's why I also want to work on some units, like these guys. I have been working on it. So another lumber mill. And let's chop the forest. So that will be worth yeah, quite a bit. And we'll chop the other one, then we can get mines, because these are both hills. We're better off with mines. And we will get more faith, I mean more food, as soon as we finish the cathedral. That should help the city's growth quite a bit. So, convert. There we go. Uh, I'm waiting for the border to expand here. So let's just wait for that. Wait for the hill. We got the spy, so we can gain sources and then try to steal some tech boss. Still waiting for that warrior there. He will be the escort. And we can keep exploring with the galley. It's not like he has anything better to do. He most certainly does not. There's civil engineering boss. And we got banking. So how about we unlock bombards and such? I would need gunpowder. Well, I can build an armory, but it will take a little bit of time. I could maybe wait for it. We'll see. We got eight more turns at least. It could be more. Because he might send a governor. It might also not happen at all. If he sends a governor or something like that. Oh, we culture bombed the adjacent tiles. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's nice. Uh, let's just grab that mine. I could also remove the jungle. What kind of tile is this? Just planes. Right, let's just get the mine. Yeah, that's decent yields. I'll take it. Uh, definitely better than other yields around this city. Yeah, the border will expand here soon. And right, let's convert. So check production. Plus 10 right now. Then we convert. And plus 30. <laughs> That's a pretty big increase, I would say. One more forest chop. There. So we saved, what? Six turns? Five or six turns. Not too bad, I would say. All right, we got 126 gold. Uh, the border here will expand, although that will take 19 turns. Can we sell anything else? We can, actually. Let's sell the iron, then. Maybe even some niter. We can sell nine. Maybe even more than that. I kind of need the gold right now. So let's just do that. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, that's too much. Is it? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, this is fine. She has 17 right now. So we can sell, what, up to 23? We can do that. How much is she paying? Decent enough price. 230? Okay, accept. Done. Uh, let's just buy that cattle. Because I don't know for sure if I will be able to capture this city. And if I don't, he might steal the cattle from me. And it's a nice style, we will be working it right away. Four food and one production. That is definitely good. And the warrior is here, so he will be the escort. And we can also build medieval walls in that city. Lautaro doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot right now. But he might attack me. That's definitely a possibility. So uh, now we can get mines. That might also save us a turn. We'll see about that. 
Okay, apparently he's impressed. So, right, lighthouse, a 500 faith. Oh yeah, I could fade by a trader. How about we do that? Right here. Yep, might as well. Uh, there's the warrior. Okay, he does have his own encampment, good to know. I can build an encampment literally right next to his. That would be pretty funny. Hey, I don't see why not, we can do that. One turn to build a granary, not bad. What do we do with this missionary? I could try to convert something, but I think we're better off just sending him west. I might be able to convert the city-state. We can give it a shot, I suppose. So, next up, a shipyard would be nice, but 19 or rather 16 turns is a bit too much. I wouldn't mind a theater square somewhere. We don't really need entertainment complex. So, I could just build walls so that I won't have to fade by them. Or we could still build a holy site. Or a campus. There's no good spot for a campus here. Not really. Might be best to just start an industrial zone, to be honest. But where? There isn't really a good spot for that. Probably next to horses, I guess. And then we can have a district here and here. That would maybe work okay. However, I'm not willing to spend 120 gold to buy that tile. Let's just start the shipyard. Shipyard is definitely useful. So, right, let's get more production here. So, a mine. That will be the last charge. This guy also has one build left. Well then, I'm sure he will find a use. Three more turns to get the silver. Oh yeah, hold on, I can't enter ocean tiles just yet, which means I need to go all the way around. Well, fine. I suppose we can go around. What's the fastest way? <laughs> there isn't one, really. I think this will be the fastest way. Just go like this. Yeah, seems like it. Fine. So, yeah, only two turns to build walls, might as well do that, instead of using faith. Okay, only 55 gold to buy walls, though. That's probably fine. Now, do we get another settler? I'm kind of tempted to settle this. Our amenities are still fine, as you can see. I could try to send a settler, like, through here. There might be something useful over there. That's an interesting idea. He would obviously need an escort of some sort. But it could be interesting. Or we can just go somewhere safe. I could still have a city here. Might be useful if we end up going to war with Persia. Loyalty shouldn't be a huge problem. Either way, let's still get another settler. I'm sure I'll find a good spot. So, there we go, done. Uh, yeah, let's just disembark. Oh yeah, I need one more mine, so we'll get that. Still waiting for that silver. And we'll send the trader out to the Maya. Especially since we have a research agreement, or rather, research alliance. Uh, let's chop this tile right here. That might even finish the walls, and if not, we'll get good progress towards them. You know, I've been playing small maps for a while, so standard map feels kind of big now. <laughs> because I'm not used to standard maps anymore. There's diplomatic service. So that does give us holy world CB, which I might use at some point. Void Singers, okay, good for them. This looks like a nice spot for a city, but a little bit far away. Let's get started on medieval thirds. I don't think I will be getting four trade routes anytime soon. 
or at least not soon enough to boast that in a reasonable time frame. So where do we send that settler? I'm kind of tempted to go this way to see what's there. What the heck, let's do that for science. I will not be upgrading the crossbowman for 250 gold, however. That's a little bit too much. I could send the swordsman as an escort. Three turns. Yeah, see, now I'm having some dubs because I need units to capture the city. Unless I just wait and have it flip to me naturally. But there's no guarantee that will actually happen. How quickly can we recruit some decent units? Relatively quickly. I could, oh yeah, I should get a samurai at some point, but I need four more iron right now. Yep. So let's do something else while we wait. We can get a catapult. We can also get heavy chariot because that's super cheap. Corsair, six turns. Well, I need two more turns to get started on a samurai, so let's just get a heavy chariot. That's exactly two turns. Works for me. Yeah, that settler needs to get out of the way. Still waiting for that. One more turn. Yeah, let's just give him a destination. He'll get there. Chop this. Yeah, that will basically finish the walls. And then we can build a pretty aggressive encampment right here. But let's finish the walls first. Yeah, this is actually pretty funny. Two encampments right next to each other. If I actually had some units around here, I could capture this city because he doesn't have walls in there. At least not yet. But alas, I can't really get enough units there quickly. Anyway, we could also grab another hero. I'll have to think about that one. I could just get Hercules. Can't go wrong with that, to be honest. So that's an option. Uh, however, I don't need an armory. So that's eight turns. I think I can wait eight turns for gunpowder. That's acceptable. How about second harbor? How do we not have a second harbor yet? Uh, well, apparently we don't. I only built one so far. Okay. Okayama could build a harbor on this side. But that would involve buying even more tiles. Not necessarily something I want to do right now. In fact, I think I would prefer to build an encampment, like over here. Not a bad idea, especially against Hungary. There's a decent chance we'll go to war with Hungary again. And his capital is right here, pretty damn close. So I don't think an encampment is a good idea. So that's that. Alright, uh, let's get that mine really quick. Only eight more turns to build the cathedral, nice one. And I'll give that settler an escort in form of the swordsman. Alright then. There we go, got the silver. Can we sell it to anyone? Yes, we can. Okay, she's paying a pretty nice price here. Good enough. Uh, let's establish an embassy. Done. Alright, and yep, I can't enter ocean just yet. We have to go the old-fashioned way. Let's spend some faith here. So, this guy only has one build left. Let's get another builder for the fisheries. We could also get a builder for Tokyo. Yeah, lots of things to do around here. That's 111. And for Sendai. Uh, not right now, on the next turn. Alright. So let's see what we can find in this direction. World Congress. Earn double points towards great people of this class. We can try to pick the great scientist and mercenary companies. Producing or purchasing military units using the chosen currency type is minus 50% cost until the next World Congress. Yeah, let's pick production, but I will not be spending any diplomatic favor. 
These are not important enough. Let's see what passes. Okay, no points towards great generals, and yep, we got minus 50% production towards military construction. Or rather, military units. I might take advantage of that a bit. I mean, I'm kind of already taking advantage of that. Now we can get the samurai. That will also give me some era score. Only two turns to get a samurai. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, let's remove the jungle. And yeah, just queue up the shrine. I don't need my religion here. I will also have to start an inquisition. I haven't done that yet. Which means I'll need another apostle. So, oh yeah, we can grab an apostle right away. There we go. And that's 13 faith left. Nice. Let's go, people. Now we can get some fisheries. I will be keeping the forest because, yeah, that's a flat tile. I'd rather keep the forest here. Once we finish this encampment, the city will be more than safe. Then again, Lautaro is not doing a whole lot. We found a city-state. Speaking of city-states, let's check how they are doing. I got three city-states right now. I could get Ayutthaya if I really wanted to. Maybe. We'll see about that. But if I'm going to do that, I should switch the policies to get two envoys out of one. So, not right now, this moment. Let's keep exploring. So, okay, uh, we got 160. Well, I could fade by something here, but... This city will have good production, 26. We are getting 16 from the holy site. It can build its own stuff. So let's just build all that. Done. We'll save the faith for more important things. Like builders, settlers, and buildings in low production cities. Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me check what this is. A flat tile. But I will be removing the jungle. Could also remove this one. Yeah, that's a hill. Let's remove this one, and then we'll have a mine. That's slightly more useful. Off you go. Uh, I should upgrade him, but I need more iron right now. And it's not that important. Anyway, let's launch the Inquisition. There we go. And I'll probably grab an Inquisitor right away. Yeah, let's just grab one right away. Uh, and by right away, I mean on the next turn? Or can we afford it? No, we can afford it. So let's just grab one. Done. Okay, yeah, see? Uh, he sent a governor, so that city will not be flipping. Which is fine. It's not a big deal. It was purely optional. There's the escort. I could probably upgrade him before I leave my territory. Daido wants a joint war against Congo. Uh, I think I'll pass on that. Congo had some pretty good units. So, no, thanks. Here's some era score from our samurai. Uh, yes, need more housing. Uh, thanks for the update. There's the samurai. Alright then. Not sure if I'll get a chance to use him, we'll see. How about some district here? A theater square would be nice. Am I willing to remove the forest to get a plus five theater square? Possibly? Yeah, maybe I am. I think it's worth it in this case. But let's buy a builder first and actually get something else first. Oh yeah, I could actually get another hero. So we could get Hercules, that's an option. We could get a hero that will be useful in a war. But I don't plan going to war right now. Unless someone declares war on me aggressively. I think I'll just get Hercules. Because he will be useful uh, to get the spaceports, if nothing else. Definitely a good one to have. 
Okay. A shrine. Well, sure, we have plenty of uses for faith. Uh, let's convert that city already. I don't think I'll need an Inquisitor for that one. Hopefully not. But that's where I'm setting him. <laughs> that general direction anyway. Yeah, shrine. Obviously. And the spy. Let's try to steal a tech boost. That's 74%. Hopefully it will work. Where's that builder needed the most? Probably here. Yep, seems like it. I would prefer to wait for the second harbor. So I guess we'll do that. Nine turns. Okay, let's just queue up a harbor here. In fact, let's try to finish it as soon as possible. That shrine can wait, I want a harbor. To get cartography boost. Because I'm not actually building a harbor anywhere else. <laughs> I thought I was, but apparently I'm not. Hmm. Okay. Not sure what that means, but alright. A moderate flood, okay. A slightly annoying. But fine, I guess I'll deal with it. Anyway, this is going to be uh, the theater square. Now we can switch research to something else, like astronomy. I, I will definitely not be boosting astronomy. I will, however, boost printing. I don't have that many campuses, actually. I should probably build a few more. Osaka needs 13 population. Uh, let's grab another spy. Uh, hold on, let me see what else we can do. A few more units wouldn't hurt. Also, we could do industrial zone logistics if the next engineer is good. Uh, no, he is not good. Alright then. Because I would still like to build Great Zimbabwe somewhere. Uh, we can also just recruit builders. There's no need to fade by all of them. How about more settlers, still? There's no real downside to starting a few more cities. I mean, there is a downside to getting too many, but the point of too many is, like, pretty high. Compared to Civ 5. So what the heck, let's just fight by another settler on the next turn, while I can do that. That's the Inquisitor. Okay, let's convert this to get our production. Uh, that will be mine. We got 580 gold. Well, I want a few more fisheries here. So let's do that. This is actually going to be a pretty decent city in the long run. Looking good. Oh yeah, plus one housing in all cities. That is a nice wonder. I don't think I will be building it, however. I don't even have an aqueduct. I could build one, don't get me wrong. But I think I'll pass. Right, I, I will be able to cross ocean once I get astronomy. But I don't need another university. There it is. That will give us the boost, so I will be able to enter ocean tiles. No need to go around anymore. Chop this, that will speed up Hercules. Uh, we will finish him, obviously, and then we can get started on the theater square. That's a plus five theater square. Let's just place it. And there it is. I hope we'll find something useful in this direction. It's a bit of a gamble, just sending the settler blindly. But what the heck, we'll do it. Uh, let's buy that tile. I should really switch to land surveyors for at least a few turns because I'm wasting a lot of money. Yeah, let's just switch on the next turn. Sounds good to me. There are a lot of tiles I could actually buy. Yep, more tiles for fisheries, for example. And nope, I'm not giving you anything, sorry. Yeah, Congo would definitely declare war on me. 
Oh, hold on. Where are you going with that catapult? Uh, you know, let's just buy walls here. That's only 55 faith. Not exactly a big deal. I'm just going to buy them. Done. Okay, let's pick up land surveyors, at least for like a few turns. We can probably ditch urban planning by now. And we'll pick land surveyors. I'm keeping serfdom. Yeah, I'm keeping everything here. Now we can buy tiles cheaper. There we go, that one. Before the city-state yonks it. A city-state emergency. Oh, he captured Hatusa. Okay, I don't necessarily want to propose that, however... I think I could handle a war with him. I have pretty damn good production. We're about to get Hercules, which can fight. Right? He can fight. I don't see why not. They can all fight. Yeah, he has decent melee strength. So I could actually try to go to war. And I could put my unique unit to good use, the samurai. What the heck? Sure, let's propose that. Why not? We'll give it a shot. It will cost me 30 favor to actually propose it, but... I think that's acceptable. Now, there's no guarantee it will pass, but if it does, we will hopefully have some other people on our side. Uh, I should also repair this crap down here, so this guy can handle it. The armory is almost done, which will unlock gunpowder, so that will give us musket men, and then we can switch research to metal casting. So then we could actually get more relevant units. Again, assuming this emergency will actually pass, there's zero guarantee that it will. It might not. Let's find out. So assuming it does, let's queue up a few units. Yeah, let's get a few more samurai, that is our unique unit after all. A barracks, two turns. Yeah, let's get quick barracks, that won't hurt. Chop that to get the harbor out. That gives us cartography. Nice one. Now, I could build two caravels, but I'm not sure if I have the time for that. I could upgrade to a caravel, but that's a little bit expensive. A little bit too expensive for my taste. I mean, I could have picked up professional army. But I am still using Veterancy, and I like Conscription, you know? We can switch to it after the next Civic, and replace Land Surveyors instead. I would just have to finish something quickly. You know, I can actually boast Humanism if I want to. Great Artist? Uh, well, okay, kind of, not really. Yeah, that would take too long. Let's research humanism, and we can probably get two caravels. Not to mention this is like a dead end, it doesn't lead to anything else. And I don't necessarily plan switching to Merchant Republic. I like my current government. I have no plans switching. Alright, few more improvements here. The encampment is almost done, so Lautaro will not be a threat whatsoever. Not that he has been a threat in any way, shape or form. He hasn't done a whole lot of anything. Okay, goody hat. A shame I can't loot it right now. I might be able to loot it eventually. So here's the vote. I will spend some diplomatic favor. Let's say 100. I don't want to go overboard because it's not that important. But five votes is decent. If one other person votes for it, it should pass. Come on. Yep, I think it passed. There we go. Okay, who voted? Uh, Dido and Mali. Works for me. I was hoping Cyrus would vote for it, but he didn't. Oh, we revealed every vertical line on the map. Okay, go us. Well, that's nice. So Hatusa is technically the target. I don't have to go for Hatusa. 
Uh, also, another benefit of doing this is that I will get shared vision with anyone who joined the quote-unquote alliance. Basically, anyone who's on my side. So that gives me a much better view of the map. Where the heck is Hatusa anyway, just out of curiosity? Not seeing it. It's like, oh, it's over here. Uh, technically, I could try to get there. I could just go for it directly if I want to. That would be doable. But before we do that, I kind of want to try taking this city right here. It's a nice city. We would get a few luxuries, we would get an encampment. Anyway, let's take a look at the map a little bit. How good was this canal? Yeah, this was an amazing canal. Which I kind of already knew because I sent the galley. But you can see just how good this canal was. It was actually amazing. What else can we see that's interesting? Congo has some pretty good cities up here. Although it's not as much population as I thought. He has a 15 population city here. Lautaro seems to be quite a bit behind. Here's Persia. He's kind of boxed in by me, basically. So he hasn't been able to expand too much. Here's Mali. They started on their own island. And they haven't expanded beyond it. And here's Hungary. So Hungary is quite dangerous because he still has quite a bit of space to expand. I might try to go for Hatusa. We'll see. It's a little bit far away, but since there's no other city blocking the way, I could actually get there. Here's Dido. Okay, I thought she would have more cities than that. Well, that's a pretty good view of the map. Anyway, before we finish this episode, let's finish St. Basil's Cathedral. Because it's literally almost done. Would be nice to actually finish it. And I do have 645 faith. Hold on. House housing in Tokyo. 7 out of 8. We can get 2 more farms. Or, well, 1 more farm, I suppose. A barracks. Because that's faster. A 2 more builds on this fella. So, cattle. And then probably another fishery. Right, let's finish St. Basil's Cathedral. That is a very nice wonder. Uh, finish converting. Okay, that was not enough. Looks like I will actually need the Inquisitor. And he's coming. I might need, like, more Inquisitors, actually. So, uh, let's grab another one in our capital. So, Inquisitor. That's fairly cheap. And I still got 510 faith. So I could grab yet another settler. While we still can. I think it's still worth it. How's our era score? Looking decent. I'm not exactly counting on another golden age, but if we get closer to 30 turns, we might be able to get another golden age. I could see it happening, actually. We'll see. So, hold on. Now that we can see everything, we can plan where to send that settler. And I could steal the builder right here. Eh, I don't think it's worth it. He only has two builds. I would take damage from the crossbowman. I would have to wait for my swordsman. Now, where do we go? We could go up here. I want to go somewhere where there's some tundra. And also a chance there will be oil. And also don't want to settle too close to Congo. This could work, maybe. But Dido doesn't like me too much. Yeah, I need to think about this one. If I want to play it safe, we could settle somewhere over here and build an encampment. I wouldn't have any Tundra, unfortunately. But... It's a desert. There might be some oil there in the future. I could also go like here. That would be pretty funny. There's a decent chance there's oil over here, you know? That's Tundra. And this is actually not a terrible idea. This could be a pretty interesting city. 
What do you think? Where would you start that city? There are a lot of options. There are actually a lot of options. I could go here if I wanted to. This would be very safe. There we go, we got St. Basil's Cathedral. Nice. So now we will get much better yields. We also got gunpowder and a bunch of Eurekas. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. Now we can finish that crossbowman. He's been waiting. Let's check the yields. So these yields on the Wonder are still not super amazing, but now they are actually like workable. Two food, two production, two faith, and one culture. That's not too bad. And all the other Tanja tiles got plus one food, plus one production, and plus one culture. So that's a fair bit of culture, actually. Now I need more population in here. I might actually use an internal trade route to boost the food. To make the city grow a little bit faster than this. I'll just need to boost housing slightly. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did to denounce the YouTube algorithm as its tradition, and subscribe for more daily videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.